This is a postmenopausal woman who comes in with some pelvic pain. We did a non-contrast CT scan. We gave him some oral contrast. And as we scroll downwards to the pelvis, we can see a very clear abnormality that's centered in the right hemi pelvis, this large fat-containing mass. There's a few soft tissue elements within it as well, and there's a calcification out at the periphery of this. And uh, this is the uterus over here, and if we follow the gonadal vessels on the right side, here it is over here, draining into the IVC. Follow it downwards, it goes right into this mass. And so this is a large right ovarian dermoid. And if we look at it, we notice that uh, the outer wall of it is a little bit thickened. If we look at the surrounding soft tissues, there's a little bit of stranding, maybe a little bit of fluid associated with it. And so that sort of raises the suspicion that maybe this is undergoing a little bit of torsion, maybe even rupture. But if we go upstairs and look uh, cephalid to the subdiaphragmatic space, as well as the hepatorenal recess, we start to see these very discrete locules of fat that are sort of situated in that location. Going all the way up, you can see as well discrete foci of fat in the right subdiaphragmatic space. And so these findings, these constellation of findings, are characteristic of a ruptured ovarian dermoid with these fatty deposits uh, rupturing and uh, depositing in uh, some of the dependent portions of the peritoneum um, here in the hepatorenal recess, as well as going all the way upwards in this instance to the uh, right subdiaphragmatic space.